Hey everybody, Dad the Noob. We're gonna be cooking with my Yakitori grill, but first we're gonna do some basics basing. Uh, the calamansi, which is Filipino soy sauce with lemon, limon. About a quarter cup of our soy ginger. And then we're gonna toss in some garlic powder and some onion powder, and that's really about it as far as the base is concerned. So we got chicken, beef, and we're also gonna get some shrimp. We got some vegetables that are sitting in the water to keep them fresh, and then that's how we're gonna do it. Feeding five of us with this little thing may not work out the way I want it to, but it's gonna be an experience uh, for sure. So please check us out later on tonight. All right, so this is working very, very good, right? So I've managed to cook four pieces of beef, three pieces of chicken, four shrimps, and a mushroom in about 45 minutes. <laughs> so uh, good idea for a more intimate setting, very bad idea, at least as far as I can tell, for cooking for a family. So what we're gonna transition to is using the same ingredients, except we're gonna use our makeshift hibachi grill. <laughs> It's still gonna taste like Japanese food, it's just gonna be done very differently. Very traditional, very good. Uh, it just takes a lot of time, and that's time that I don't have. So probably end up investing in two, maybe three of these bad man pajamas, because they're definitely worth the investment. And if you're in the market for one, visit my peeps out in, in Palm Springs, Russ and Sam at Wabi Sabi uh, Lifestyles, and uh, make sure you give them some good business. I'm gonna get back to cooking because it's almost dinner time, bye. What started off as a experiment in yakitori grill, which is actually pretty successful, is just really time consuming. So instead of letting all that bountiful uh, food go to waste or back into the refrigerator, we decided to do a hibachi slash yakiniku uh, grill, which is still very much Japanese. I think honestly it's the marinade that's making all this deliciousness come out. Uh, exactly as as we had it in Japan so I think that's gonna put a cut in and I'll have some more footage but thanks for watching please click like and subscribe and leave a comment down below when you get an opportunity it means a lot to me and I hope that you enjoyed our little experiment I do encourage you to break out of your comfort zone and try something different at home so until next time I've been dead the noob you've been you stay super awesome and we'll catch you later good night and bon appetit konnichiwa konpanwa and see you later